Okay, welcome back to the boss rush of Let's Play Crystallis. We just defeated Sabera. We have Mado and a mysterious fourth man. I didn't need to heal myself, but whatever. He's glad to see us. Avenge Stom. I was, I was like, yeah, he's kind of dead, bro. I'm sorry. And this is where I will be grinding out to actually be able to beat the new and improved Mado and his mysterious friend that serves as the fourth of Dragonia's finest. Have to equip the rabbit boots to get where I'm going. And you'll note, these are the same guys with the same experience give payout as the ones all the way back in the water cave. They're pretty worthless. They're just here to petrify you and annoy the heck out of you. This map is also one of the easiest in the game. It's short, all things considered. I already had the rabbit boots on. And it just wraps around on itself. We're going to go and find some spiders to murder. Which I'm pretty sure spiders are probably the easiest enemy to not... Like, nobody feels bad about murdering spiders, probably. Anyway, we're going to do that while you listen to this chilled out groove. I have no idea if that groove was very chilled out. I have a pretty limited repertoire to work with. The Crystalis remixes. I got hit with the nasty MP degeneration. And praise everything that is probably the last of the truly obnoxious grinding segments. There's a screen later where I can just pretty much do whatever the heck I want and very quickly get all the way to level 16. I basically have to kill nothing else on the way. Uh, let me see, I believe... This map is way too zoomed out for me to be getting much use out of it, but I'm pretty sure I know where I'm supposed to be going. I say as I jump back and forth. Yeah. It's all the last exit on the horrible spike trail. I lied. Oh. I was not on the horrible spike trail I thought I was. That was the problem. And here we have... The Invisible Ninjas and Moth's room again. Ugh. Get out of here, you obnoxious flying freaks. And we have to wait on the taxi. Thank you. I think there's one or two of these. I'm not gonna bother. Actually, I am going to bother, because I didn't actually demonstrate... I did it, but I didn't talk about it. You have to use... I guess that sword doesn't hurt. I hope that sword... Yeah. You have to use a, a level 3 charge on them and then murder them. I guess they're not ninjas. They're like horrible wraiths or something. And they try to paralyze you even when they're still invisible. They really suck. There's some magic rings here that I feel... I do want to have those fruits of Repon. And the... Whatever the heck the statue is. The Opel statue, which I assume is misspelled Opal. Uh, yeah. I am on the correct track. Uh, is this the boss? No. Uh, the Opel statue was critical for me surviving in the last parts of the game in my test play, so... I'm going to hang on to it. And here we have Mado again. Are you the same color as whatever sword I equipped? Glad you come. There's nothing... You are nothing to fear. Be proud of it. What? I should have read that more carefully. No, he... I think he just changed colors. But he... Apart from being faster, he is the same boss that we just fought. Kind of like he is the ball in Arkanoid, and we are a moving brick! Holy crap, he does damage! That's what I get for using armor from... God knows how long ago. Oh, I hope I didn't make a mistake. His bullet patterns, I think, are actually a little bit easier to dodge. He is dead. Goodbye, Mado. 
nobody liked you anyway. And I have another sacred shield if I hadn't bought one prior to now. I guess there's, you, there's probably a few places you want it. Hey, Asina, please give me my MP back. Thank you, I'll cure your wounds. Last sorcerer, Carmine. He uses magic to change people into monsters, and that is what the fruit of Repon heals. I didn't mean to let go of that charge, but whatever. Let me see. Oh dear. I need to not walk and look at my map at the same time. Yeah, this is the way I want to go. I'm almost positive. And there's bow guys and just a random crab hanging out. I have enough magic. None of you guys scare me in the least. Or do I want to go over this bridge? The question for the ages. The face that I need to destroy with the Thunder Sword is just up ahead. Like I said, that is usually your clue. It is destroyed. There are moths everywhere. And you might wait. There is a taxi. Huh. I was going to say you might sit here and wait for a taxi, but you actually have to go across. I mean, you... I thought you needed flight to get through there. I guess I'm incorrect. I wonder... The boss is just ahead, and I'm not sure if you have to go and find Kinsu and talk to him. He's been changed into a monster. Spoilers. And he is across those gaps and won't let you out until you go and destroy the guy that turned him into a monster. I believe he's one of the little uh, lunchbox people. Lunchbox blob picnic basket dudes. This is Carmine. Welcome, I am Dragonius Finest. You must be tired, so rest forever in darkness. Ah! I'm pretty sure he is weak to the Thunder Sword, which means I will have absolutely no trouble hitting him. He's sort of like Mado, except he fills the screen. Oh, that's Bear. Oh, yeah, you want to use Barrier to avoid those things. I'm smart. I figured that out last time and didn't put it in my notes. That is what turns you into a lunchbox. You want to avoid that at all costs. That is why having barrier up is nice. If you're in a position where you hear it go off but can't do anything about it, suddenly you can. And it is obviously way better than healing up all that damage from using refresh. While using. By using refresh. He released all those balls off screen and they immediately despawned. That's hilarious. You're a joker, Carmine. Also, they're causing a lot of slowdown. Dang. Got to heal up, because one hit will take me out. I'm not sure barrier prevents collision damage. I hate when he goes up there in that corner and can't be hit. It's so obnoxious. Yeah, the fact that I can basically hit the entire rest of the screen from any given position on the edge is great. That's why the Thunder Sword is the best sword. We killed him, we got the Ivory Statue, which I believe is what we need to rescue Kintsu. And we also have the Storm Bracelet, which I will show off at a later date. A only slightly later date. We have one more enemy in the boss rush. I actually need to have the Rabbit Boots ready. I don't know why I'm topping off Kintsu should... I hope Kintsu heals me. It would be within Kintsu's character to not do that, though. His entire character is be a jerk, tell you to get eaten by zombies, beg you to help him. Just run off and find my pendant, you jerk. See, he's a lunchbox. Hi, Kintsu. What's up? I was stupid and was hit by Carmine. I need, in order to recover, I need the statue. Use the hole. Yeah, see you later. Uh... Wow, it will let me just leave Kinsu back there. I think he actually gives me something I want, so we're not going to do that. Here's the statue. What a relief! I will cure your wounds. The Emperor Messiah left for the pyramid. Messiah has the power to call the tower, but don't give it to Dragon. I'll teach you flight to age, and I'll take the shortcut. Evidently, that was the end of the boss rush, but we will go through... The... Shortcut, as Kintsu just instructed us. And there's like 30... Like you're going all the way back down, is what this is telling you. 
And we have another little maze up ahead, and once we get through it, we will have the best armor in the game. That... I can't... I, the, she, the best shield in the game protects you from everything. But I think the best armor only protects you from poison, which is okay, because poison is the only thing that hurts us anyway. What are you? A fruit of power. Whatever. You'll note that the flight spell, which is what we were using a gimmicky, glitchy version of, uses MP as you do it. The, gl the glitchy, gimmicky version was when we did the glitch with the dolphin. It decided that since we were hovering over water like that, we must be using the flight spell, right? So it used up MP. Uh, I think this is... yeah. I now have the battle armor, so I didn't have to buy armor at all. And I'm pretty sure that's the best armor in the game, just all around. It gives you some... Gives you the most protection and some manner of, uh... Actually, no, it's not the best armor in the game, it's the second best armor in the game. You get the best armor from defeating somebody. I'm actually not sure what I'm getting in here. Apart from hurt. Oh yes! This ring increases my damage! Which, if that were available at any other point in the game, I bet would let you bypass the leveling requirements. It's probably an attack stat. Like, your attack stat needs to be so high to damage the enemy. And if I could just give up an equipment slot to increase my attack stat, I wouldn't have to grind as much. But... Nope, it's stuck here where you can't get it without flight. I'm trying to heal myself. We don't want to have any embarrassing accidents. I made it through the whole game without dying. That's I'm a little impressed, actually. I mean, I had to die because I was the wrong level against Kelbesk earlier, but that hardly counts. I, that was a suicide. Uh... I think... Nope, there is nothing else. We... We're going to visit the last town in the game. Just real quick, and then we will visit the pyramid next time and have our final showdown. Or something... Actually, there's a couple of other things we're going to have to do before we do the final showdown, but... Whatever. This is Sahara, and I will go over here and sell my garbage. I do want to get rid of the leather... Oh, I was wearing the leather armor from Ben Brynmaia this whole time. Wow. Yeah, I have an extra sacred shield. You can have that, too. Alright. Anyway, with that, I will see you guys next time.